Hello everyone, today we intend to do this bag, uh, as probably you already noticed, it's a base and uh, one of the important parts, it would be uh, crochet around the base of this bag, the next part uh, would be interesting, it crochet the pattern and then it's just a long time taken part where we serving our handles and serving our zip. So I sew the zip in this way, two ways around. I do it by hand, not by machine. But yeah, here's our bag. this base you can start anywhere whatever you will like and take the yarn in this way through this loop in uh, the holes which are located on the side of our base we need to put two uh, loops in each hole and on back side it will be three in each hole i will show you how to do the next one you take the yarn out and make a single crochet like this done then again i go to the next hole take the yarn and make a single crochet and one more in the hole take the yarn take it out and single crochet so and continue to make in the next hole as well all the way through one two single crochet done way through until this point here it will be start our uh, three single crochet at the same hole at this point i still have one hole left i might put two single crochet then first one and the second one and then at this hole I already will put three single crochet like one just take a yarn two and three and then continue to making the three single crochet at the same hole and three Till this side. Probably, if you notice, I started to make uh, uh, my crochet from this side where there are some legs. I call it legs uh, instead of make uh, from this side. You will see then why. At this point, I want to show you again uh, just three single crochet at the same hole. One. Two and three, and then you continue making a uh, two single crochet in this hole. At this point, we will start with three single crochet. Start here, finish there, and then just three uh, single crochet of two single crochet in each hole and then I see you near this hole to show how to connect nearly there just finishing two single crochet in the last hole and and now 
now we will connect our uh, holes like this, like slip stitch. Here we are. So we done the first row. Just make like this to make it a little bit easier to crochet the next row. And after this, we can start to continue our crochet. So just a couple of seconds. Yeah. We still have these ends from our first row. No worries about this. We will hide them. And to continue crochet our next row, we need to make a loop. Just one loop and make a single crochet in the back side loop only just like this one two and we need to continue make all the way through around till this point and in the end of the row we will make slip stitch see you then and here we are just one last stitch left i take a back loop only and make a single crochet and then to end our row i need to make slip stitch done and then uh, i need to make one loop to continue next row and now to reduce the number of holes we already have some holes here uh, i will show how to cover them then but if you see more close if you continue to make like a single crochet in each row it will be a lot of loops like not loops holes like this that's why um, i intend to make a little bit tricky thing but it's prevent us and to reduce our holes inside of our like bag i take a loop uh, again it will be uh, i need to turn our crochet and continue to make back side loop only but i will make it in two loops from our now row where we are now we just done the first row and our previous row here we are I take these two loops and through these two loops I will take the yarn and then make one single crochet the, so our first single crochet in this row is done I can show it again we already done one loop to start our row then we need to take back side loop on the from row where we are now and then from the previous row where we was and make a single crochet so i can show the next loop again but like take the loop from row where we are now only one loop don't show, take the two loops because the next like the second loop will need for the, our next row and then one loop here you see then take take our yarn through all of these loops and make a single crochet and continue doing the same all the way through our row and uh, this uh, stitch we are doing right now doesn't call the single crochet it's called a little bit different but let's agree that i will call it just a single crochet so and continue doing this just to show you the middle of the process you see now it starts to be like two rows we have instead of one where i haven't done uh, this row so again i take one loop from row where we are now one loop from the previous row and make a single crochet and so it's now will look like this that's why we have for our next row again two loops so yeah i hope it start look more like a bag and there are only one 
loop left so we take loop from our row from the previous row and take the yard through all of them and make a single crochet row is done now we need to connect our beginning of our row with our end while using oh slip stitch just put in hook inside take the yarn and going through this loops so and then again we need to make one loop turn our crochet and continue making uh, back loops only you see it will be this one one from here one from previous one we left from our previous one row and make a single crochet through both of them and continue to making all base row back again one loop one loop Here and I'm finishing this row just the last stitch take the two loops from two different row and in the end make a slip stitch and then we will do um three rows in the same pattern when we use uh, both our loops just just three more rows again it will be loop in the beginning then whole way through and then slip stitch in the end of the row and we will receive something look like a bag more close like a bag hello again sorry i changed a little bit my background but uh, instead of making three more rows i made eight more rows so here it's where we finished previous time and then i make two to get there uh four six and now eight so and this specific row i would like to show you uh, due to uh we do a uh, single crochet in this interesting way when the end like the base of our back would be much more tough uh, rather than n narrow and uh, now i intend to make a little narrow or uh, like the rest of the back maybe till there like for this level yeah it's personal preference you can continue making with the same example of stitches or just uh, regular single crochet so what now i'm intend to do because i have already two stitches but uh, um i want to go from two to the one normal single loop i will took my yard and instead of putting my hook in the back side loop only i will take two loops from our first loop from the first row where and the loop from the previous row and then taking yard through all of them and make a single crochet again i take a hook through both of the loops hope you see sorry for my fingers and then in the uh, loop we left from the previous row take the yarn and make a single crochet just to show in the last time hopefully I wouldn't put a lot of fingers you see there and take a loop from there as well and then make a single crochet so it would be just one row finishing this row and see you then 
this row we are doing the simple single crochet as usual you just taking a hook through to uh, part of your stitch and then uh, take a loop through both of these stitches and again and again so don't don't lose any loop just through both of them take the yard and then take the yard through so and in this way i will continue to make a couple rows um so probably from the beginning i said that i prefer to do uh, in one color but now i have a super idea i will share a little bit later and uh, um, i would like to change a little bit color um hope you will like it if not sorry yeah it's time to say like and subscribe for my channel please if you like the content um and about uh, this row i have already done a couple of stitches you see uh instead of compare this previous row and this row you can notice a little holes over there it's okay it's not a big holes but yeah Maybe for back it will be better to continue making the heart i intend to make a heart always through like there are couples heart would be i intend to do one of them will be white and another one red and maybe most of them will be white and some red so i took the same kind of yarn as well i was taking like two um uh to make it the same as our white the same size so and this is a picture of heart i'm also interested to make maybe here a little bit and hope it's look like a heart at least and i try to make this high the same as my stitches here hopefully they are the same and here here is a picture and now i intend to count my stitches i made because here i have 11 stitches so i don't worry about the high i still have plenty like high way to do my back but i have a little bit struggling with um, this and how much i can put in the middle of each uh, heart if i intend to do them by by one so let's have a look so i have count how much stitches i have probably uh because we can use a different base it will be a different amount that's why i highly recommend to count uh this amount before starting to this so my amount is 103 and we probably don't need to you if i intend to use like picture by picture in my row um i can count only this part because this one white like which is left will be from the previous one and will make uh, like between two my hearts that's why i might count only this uh, amount of uh, stitches i need it would be uh, eight so here it would be eight and it's eight oh sorry for my drawing yeah probably you can found the already example how to make this heart but yeah <laughs> i would like to picture it by myself and probably you can picture whatever you would like and make a pattern of it um so now i have eight stitches here and there are 103 left so probably it would be um the closest one 
um, just a moment, 102 divided by 8, what it would be, if I, if I am right, correct me if I am wrong, 72, oh, no, not, 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 probably this one, yeah, yes, it is, so, but I don't have this additional stitch, so that's why I probably can do 96 divided by 8, I will have, uh, oh, here it wouldn't be 12, oh my god, yeah, 13, and here it will be 12, and um, I will have 12 uh, hearts, one, one of them would be red, and the rest, 11, will be white, um, but, yeah, but here I still have how much there are loops left, seven loops, so, or I can reduce somewhere, uh, like around my back, these loops, or just leave them as it is, and probably in some, some place, just put one, one additional row between them, and yeah, here's the ideal, uh, the idea how you will make, if you would like to make the particular, this amount of loops, you can reduce somewhere in couple rows or in one row, in second row, and then make it whatever you prefer. Let's begin making our hearts. So I decided to make from the back side, as you probably uh, remember, I have seven loops left. Uh, without putting anywhere that's why i decided to, to make uh, like this seven <laughs> loops uh, row here it's yeah it will look like strange but it will be my back side of the back and this will be front one that's why i'm not really worried about this and the first mistake i even now would like to make i would like to start making this stitch uh, you see, yeah, focus in place. This stitch right now with a different color, as you already know, I would like to make the all way through white, white, and one of them would be a uh, red one. But um, it's the mistake I intend to do now. It's due to I would like to start with white right here, but still I have three loops left for me. That's why I probably will start with three loops. And here we are. I will start making my three loops. It would be always my beginning of the heart. One, two, and three. And at the next point, in the next stitch, I intend to add my uh, white loop I just done. So let's attach it, let's attach it. I will make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, it's okay and not right now. Instead of making the third loop with the yellow one, I return yellow one here and take the loop of white one loop uh, I will put yellow yard in the middle of my hook you see I put hook on the loop and then I put yellow yard on the top of it and then I will take my white Here we are. So the first one is uh, ready, but it's worth to mention that because uh, I next loop I will do with the yellow one again, I intend to take this white yarn out from this place and take my yellow one yarn. and you see it will be like white one 
a little bit and continue making uh, the rest of the stitches uh, again I made it wrong because that's why I will return back and here because all way through I would like to make the white one to don't cut this yarn I just put it inside um, my crochet and I will make in loop when my yard will be on top of it and just making the next crochet the next one so I need to make uh, based on my picture sorry for my drawing I probably forgot to excuse about this I already done this three this white one and there are four left for me did and to start making the next heart I still need to make this three that's why I might make a seven stitches and then again we'll take the white yarn and then continue with the yellow one I just want to show you this way again we already done one first one uh, the white one <laughs> sorry and then I have already done the seven stitches one two three four five six seven and again instead of finishing this with yellow yarn I will take a white yarn go through and then next stitch will make when in the top will be my uh, yellow yarn make a white one and instead of finishing with white one I put the yellow yarn here and don't forget to put your yarn in the middle of your stitch like this because it will help you just don't to make like not needed cards and now probably you notice the difference um, why we are doing the white loop earlier and haven't finished with white loop then because in other case it would be white here and yellow here it would be look a little bit strange yeah that's it see you when I will start to making the red one I near to my red heart so I make a loop probably know how to do this yeah here we are and uh, I have done seven from the previous one seven stitches from the previous white loop uh, as we agreed so it's look nice already <laughs> I hope so uh, but again uh, the heart wouldn't be in the middle of my bag because middle will be somewhere here but yeah it still look okay for me and uh, I haven't forgot to put white yarn inside of my crochet to make don't need it to make any cuts so you probably notice that here it would be like visible that somewhere is white yarn for example here but it's still hidden it's not everyone will understand how you done this it's so clever tip and now we starting with our red one um so i already mentioned it's one two three four five six seven seven again i need to take this the last seven crochet out and instead of putting yellow one i will put red one inside so just to put the ends here red one is ready to start in the middle i will put white and yellow one yard made just one single crochet and again finishing it with the yellow one instead of finishing with the red one like you see taking through both of it and then i just leave red yarn somewhere there it's not needed for now and I continue put inside white yarn and continue crochet again seven crochet until the second heart and one two 
so and at this point i just left the yard i wouldn't put it through always through our bag it's not making any sense but i leave it here and we will make a decision on our next row how we will hide the ends from this heart yeah just continue making seven uh, single crochet in the middle and making the rest white heart start point and currently it's our second row of making a heart so uh, you notice that to follow the scheme oh, we make a three like mm, single crochet and here like it's understandable how to do a white one because we pull our yard through all of this and uh, we never forgot but i'm a little confused how to do with red because uh, it's usually i will begin like more biggest uh like distance between the rows between our single crochet and that's why i'm a little struggle how to do this but i have figured it out so the scheme we are follow in this pattern it would be five between the each heart and then make three of uh, the color we would like and now i will show you uh the fifth one single crochet again we will put inside both our colors and take at this point not the finish with yellow one finish with the red one and i haven't take the as you see take the yard through all of this i just i just take it and that's all because i haven't expect to have you see it would be a big like difference but i intend to hide it um i put my hook inside the next loop and here you see sorry you see the red one is would be um in the middle of it and i will cover it with my next single crochet done and the next one i might to do two more two and probably this one three again at this point my mistake i might leave the red one don't put it inside and take our yellow one it's a little bit tricky because i use two threads instead of one but yeah you can recognize by the color all of them so yellow one start and i just make one more single loop and just tight it a little bit and now here we are and we making the next rest of our white loops uh, with just five in the middle and three with color we need so about other side i decide to left um uh, all seven like loops as it is so in the end i will receive 12 hearts around all my bag now it's our third row of making the uh, heart you probably can have an example here now it might be five single crochet probably i will put somewhere the the picture <laughs> that i made sorry for drawing again and in the middle of our hearts it would be three single crochet i already done first one it would be the second one and the third one yeah and, uh, and again we will change our yard at this point to the white one and then put inside our yellow one yard and continue making five single crochet with our white yarn so two three four and five in a second yeah and oh sorry five one and at this point as you remember we will put yellow one yarn let's do it 
and put white inside and we near our red hot one two and three again at this point we might take our red yard but probably you have noticed something not really you would like to see on the back side of your bag it's this one oh we will try to hide it let's try to do it if it's not i have an another decision to do so it's first time i'm doing it with you that's why it probably will look a little bit strange sorry for this and our first one red loop i put inside a yellow and white one so the second one again when i put inside inside like inside my loop would be the white one yellow one and the red one from the back side and i continue making with the red one and oh, sorry done and then there are three left and at this point in the middle this three of it and i might still take the red one from here to hide it and here mm, last let's have a look on back side so i probably could take this one it would be more um more accurate take red inside on the first one loop and then when it would be our fifth one i will put uh only inside would be these two different color and i left red one here it's already hide you see there are no no one wouldn't know what's happened there <laughs> i hope so and take the red one and because it's our fifth single crochet at this point we might change like leave red yard again put inside white one and take the yellow one so we did it and then just make one more loop with yellow one just showing you yeah done so the third row is done for our heart yep it's look like this here's the one of key point and I intend to share as probably you already noticed now it will be seven single crochet of white yard and one single crochet of our yellow one but how to do this don't, don't make confuse because to be honest i confused as well so you just need to make it i have already done as you see one two three four five six i need to make the seven one as same as we did in a previous one and the last one i will put yellow to finish this row then i will put white inside and make a yellow one and because it's already like only one loop here i don't intend to put yellow on the top i intend to put white on the top and our stitch will look like this and then i will start my seven single crochet with the white one it would be one two and so on and here again is the sixth one and i made a seven one so seven one finishing with the yellow then make one yellow put white inside and finishing with the white uh, oh actually not white at this point i'm confused as well with the red one and yeah 
let's do it actually it would be a little bit odd i could say because you see at this side it would be a really strange one that's why i intend a little lose it to just lose it <laughs> a little bit not really not make it really hard but lose it a little bit yeah, like this hope, hope it will be enough so and i might continue my crochet with the red one just to lose it yeah here we are. and i will start and i put red one and rest inside as well it would be my first one just to take a little hard yellow one I continue put everything inside again it would be our second one red as well inside to hide all this way through second one so third one just to hide show you how it look like from this side it's still not not good but we nearly there Ooh. again i turn this on this side to be sure that i take this red one i took it yes and this sixth one put hook inside and again at this point i might take the red one this red one inside as well and sorry a little bit longer but i think it's key point to no. know yeah red one we hide red one from the previous row it's look actually good i like it but it's your view if you not like it it's absolutely okay for me and we might finish in our red heart with just leaving again leaving it the red yarn and make a yellow one yellow one here and put white inside and then continue making as we did previously just white in the next one and in this case put yellow inside and continue making all the way through hope it's understandable actually it's already start to look like a heart i hope so it's not only my vision and now i intend to show you how to make the fourth one or fifth one oh, one two three four fifth one row of our heart so as an example i will use white one again the same structure i finish in the previous one take the yellow yarn put the uh, all rest of the yarn inside and i make one single crochet as the same as from previous row actually I can't finish in with the yellow one i finish in with the white one that's why i make just one stitch with like single crochet with yellow one and now i'm making three single crochet of white one first one second one and this third one and again because it's the last one i need to make a yellow one in the middle that's why i finish it with the yellow then i put here the yellow single crochet and finishing in with white because i need to switch and then i will do three white single crochet sorry just take a yarn and first one the second one and the third one the third one due to this is our last one again i make a yellow one 
and put our yard here for yellow one sorry completely wrong for yellow one and at this point as you remember we might switch on our red one again and it would be really long way from yeah red one is done and as for previous row we need to keep it loose not this loose but a little less probably like this to intend to hide it properly again the same thing and let's uh, go together through all way with the red one i start my one single crochet the second one all three yarn inside my crochet at this point because it's third stitch i might switch to a yellow one just take a yellow one yarn actually i put my both my red yarn inside now in the next stitch so i took the stitch i took the one red one the next red one red one and the white one yarn and put them inside and instead of finishing this yellow one with yellow i will finish it with the red one actually it's already hard because we put in it inside and then i will continue doing my three single crochet and just one and don't forget to put yellow oh sorry red as well in the middle one in the center of our crochet just to hide the back side of our crochet so and it looks like i lose my red one here we are and at this point it would be my second one and the next one yeah and i might take my red yard from here as well it's yeah a little hard and again we don't finish in with red one we will finish in with yellow one here we are again leave a red one untouched for now and then i will show how to switch again to the white one so i might make one single crochet of a yellow one and then put white yarn and then continue making three of white then switch to the yellow then three of white then switch to the yellow three of white so look pretty simple actually it starts look like a heart yeah a little worry about this side just look odd a little bit and this more normal but yeah actually it's good i quite like it white is look amazing let's start uh, the last stage of our heart so and it would be this point where we need to make one uh, stitch on the top on each top and i intend to start with red one if you wouldn't mind um i do one stitch in the middle yellow one as usual uh, white will be inside then i make one stitch of yellow one and put a red one again start to make it a little bit loose to don't have problem to hide it then not that big loose as i did just now but a little bit just like this it would be okay so i make one finishing with red then i put everything inside making one stitch one red one then put everything rest inside again just check that i take all my red yes oh actually yeah i i took sorry confusing and then i put a yellow one because i need just one stitch 
after that I will continue making my yellow one and put everything inside all of these two reds and one white one inside and make a, a three single crochet of yellow one it would be first one then so took the red one red and white uh, would be second one and then again took the red one to hide it red inside yellow one and at this point i will took on the top my red because the next loop would be red one and i put everything inside again just check that everything inside take this red as well and take the red through and on the top as you already know it will be yellow and then put I can leave my red one here, just just leave it there, but still you need to put inside our loop we left to hide it properly, and that I did just now. This one I will left, and I put white inside and take a yellow one. Oh, sorry. Here and I continue making two more yellow stitch and now I will show you how to make with white one probably a little less simple at this point we take our white then we switch take our white and the top will be yellow one and then we will make three yellow single crochet one, two, again, white will be inside. Oh, sorry, something going wrong. Um, two and three, and on the top it would be white again, white one. Then I will make white stitch and finishing with yellow one. And uh, continue making three yellow single crochet around one, two, three, and you start to be already the next, the next um, part. So it look like this, and you need to make the same pattern all the way through till the end. At this point I'm finishing making my hearts, so I already cut the white yarn which I put inside from this heart to this and I intend to just continue hiding it, but I want to show you one li little tips you probably can notice. I just separate both of this yarn I have and one of them, uh, that's why I get till the white one but uh, I get through this white one and I will make a knot just for more safety and to be sure that nothing going wrong and at some point there wouldn't be like uh, holes inside my um, bag I make a couple knots and then I continue my crochet the next row will be look like as usual one uh just just yellow one nothing nothing really interesting at all uh just a moment a couple of seconds here we are because i left quite big ends um it's okay it's okay so i will still do uh, my crochet part just oh I completely confused because I missed this one the stitch. I might go through it and all the way through it will be my white yarn inside. You see? It's like oh sorry. I need to take yarn more because it's a little hard. Thank you for waiting. And again I get to the white part of my heart. I intend to make 
one more knot here again take just one yarn through and make a knot at this point one and two it's okay and then as the rest i can continue crochet and put uh, all this yarn inside don't forget this time about this stitch and yeah just continue crochet like this until this end wouldn't finish somewhere inside that's all as you probably already noticed um i will cut the red yarn not a long end and i already hide my white yarn there are some ends left here as well as the red one it's it's okay i will worry about this a little bit later but now let's worry about this end and i intend to make the same as i did with the white one uh, just take it through and make a couple knots because here i have just one red place <laughs> i could say like this uh, i will make a couple knots and then just put it inside so it's look like hard i hope so and just just continue making a single crochet of our yellow yarn and put inside the red yarn it probably wouldn't be visible and just continue crochet all the way through just Just like this and nobody wouldn't see this red yarn somewhere else uh, if you hide it properly but it's so hey and i hope you can do it i'm sure you can do it so showing our progress i have already hide all yarn left for that one and we still have uh, this white end and the yellow end so for yellow one it will be pretty simple you just taking your hook somewhere in this hole somewhere near and then this yarn through whenever we and trying to hide it somewhere at this point and a couple seconds yeah. i lost it <laughs> sorry Need to do it again probably this this hole will be better even if i use it just like this yeah now it's better and continue hiding it until it's end and for white one we don't have so much space we have just just this heart and uh, we will just going from first of all from side to side would be looking like this taking here from this side then from this side we're going somewhere here taking on that side and when it would be probably like this left you can put your hook somewhere inside crochet somewhere like this it's a little bit could be difficult but it's okay and then Take a yarn through it. Yarn. <laughs> Little tricky. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. And probably at this point you even can cut it. And that's all. At this point.
55 done, then we return our crochet and continue making uh, the row of 54 uh, single crochet. Fifty-four done, and then we continue five rows in the uh, in this pattern. One loop, turn the crochet, and continue making fifty-four single crochet. Um, this pattern will be five more rows, except which we are now doing. I finished all needed amount of rows and now we need to cut our yarn to sewing. To do this we need to measure in straight like in both direction here, then back and then back again and at this point we can cut the yarn. It would be enough for sewing and just finishing our crochet we finishing this part and now we will start sewing uh, we already left enough yarn three times more than all of this and also we need a little bit polyfill to put inside our handle the star we will start sewing in this way we put in, in on like half and start doing this side we go in like this direction first then we turn back and then we'll start sewing here Just sewing one side to another one in this way because it's quite long thread it will take a little while and don't forget to stuff during your sewing at some point probably when we reach somewhere there it's good point to start stuff with polyfill at this point we can start a stuff I use a little bit of uh, polyfill and also using a scissors with sharp end and doing like this stuff until you feel it's enough it's based how you feel it And then continue sewing and don't forget to stuff. Just want to show again. We just continue sewing a couple of stitches more, one side with another one, and then continue stuffing it. what I have already done it's look not soft enough tough for handle I use small pieces of polyfill to don't make it like balls inside handle and then just throwing it inside just finishing the second handle it's look the same as the other one At this point I finished crochet the rest of the back so you just continue crochet uh, all the way around with the same color nothing yeah <laughs> nothing seriously uh, in some way I just started uh, decrease a little bit just to make it uh, the shape but you can continue like with the same uh, size like this without uh, changing the un angle I hope it's the same angle um, yep 
and why I did that to make it more appropriate for the zip and yeah now I will serve in zip and uh, after that or before it will serve in the handles we have handles we have couple options how to put our handles or this way or that way or that way so we have both of them it would be like this or this this it's yeah whatever you prefer and just serving them i just want to mention that you probably need to serve in at this uh side rather than from inside because inside you will have a zip if you still continue wanting to have a zip or oh, it's a lot of rest of the options but they will show you how i will make it here's our bag i already serve one hand and we have just another one left so for your notice i don't use the crochet yarn i use much smaller yarn so compare it's not even yarn it's a thread compare with this one you see the difference and i use a needle just for for thread instead of using for yarn and the way i'm crocheting it first of all i have separate so i left this handle didn't finish and i separate my bag for two same parts and then i count five um stitches from one end and start serving this hand the same for other side and the same here it would be one two three four five and the hand though no, will be like this yeah and to start serving um i took a thread and instead of putting inside only one and I put two ends and on the different end it would be loop here why I'm doing this just to start to attach I will show you what I mean by this to attach to our crochet I put I will probably do a little more close mm -hmm. I'm just taking the yarn somewhere here oh sorry needle and then you see the loop is left and I put a needle inside this loop and now I have attached and don't even need to make any knots or anything to attach just just left this loop so then I already count five loops from here and I decide left five rows here as well. And how I will add sewing it, I will put in from this side my needle to that side, then another direction, whole way through, and then from this direction again. Here, always through with attaching the back. All handles are soft. You see, even don't notice the threads. And the last step.